Hi, I'm Dr. Whitney Rybar, a physical therapist at Health in Motion, and I'm going to be talking to you about neuromuscular re-education after trigger point dry needling. So neuromuscular re-education is a technique that we use to restore patients' normal and controlled movement patterns. Um, so for example, with the trigger point dry needling, with releasing the calf muscle, the calf now functions with a different range of motion and different strength capabilities. So we want to make sure that we retrain that and also that the brain and that muscle are in a better connection so that muscle can function optimally. So now we're going to do some re-education to this patient's right calf after I did some trigger point dry needling to get it functioning optimally in a functional movement pattern. So as humans, we are three-dimensional beings, so the stretch I'm going to give for her right calf is going to be stretching her calf in all three planes of motion to get her ready for functional activities such as walking. Okay, so for the three-dimensional calf stretching, I'm going to have the patient in a calf lengthened position and have the patient rock her pelvis forward and backward in the first plane of motion, trying to get a stretch through the calf. We'll do that a couple times. Okay, and then I'll have you come back into your stretch and rock your pelvis side to side. We'll hit that second plane of motion. Good. And then back into your stretch, rotate to the right, rotate to the left to make sure we get that third plane of motion and that calf's stretching in all three planes. Health in motion, empowering people to optimize function.